hi guys welcome back to my channel for another video today is going to be my sunday afternoon planning routine if you've been around my channel for a while then you know that i am a homeschooling mom of four i also work here on youtube and i have a lot of things to keep organized and keep straight so i do have a planning routine that usually takes place either sunday evening Sunday afternoon or Saturday evening just depending there are things that I do that I plan every single week that just help my life run pretty smooth and organized and help me stay on top of the many things I have to keep track of which is a common question that you guys ask me a lot so I figured this video might help you guys um, so if you want to see what my afternoon planning routine looks like then this is going to be the video for you I would love to know down in the comments below if you have a planning routine so we have just gotten home from church and um, now it's just a good time for me to go over my week so I'm gonna walk you guys through how I do that and actually plan real time for the upcoming week so um, I'm gonna walk you through step by step let me know by giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you have any questions for me you can always post them down in the comments below but i've got a lot to plan for the upcoming week so let's plan so step number one of my planning routine is to have my phone get my supplies so my phone my uh, dinner meal planner i got this in the target dollar spot i love paper mate flare pens if my camera would focus um for planning because it doesn't bleed through the sheets i have my erin condren planner and then i have a notebook for any lists that i need to make and then i also usually will grab myself a cup of coffee an afternoon cup um, on the day that i am filming this i served in children's ministry and so i'm definitely feeling like i need that little afternoon pick me up so once I have all of my supplies laid out, then I am ready to plan. The first thing I like to do before even beginning to plan for the next week is verify that everything that I had assigned myself for this week has been completed because if I didn't get something done this week, then I'm going to go ahead and roll that over to the next week. So I'm going to go ahead and go through my planner for this week, making sure that I got all my tasks and to-dos done, check them off, and then I will flip to the new week. So step number two is to flip to the current week and look over anything that I already have planned. You guys can see that I have already filled in quite a bit of stuff and that is because I do try to fill in things ahead of time. But of course that doesn't mean that everything is on here because some things get planned last minute or you might need to add a to do to something or something like that changes. So what I do when I, I don't carry my planner with me everywhere I go. I leave it home open where I can grab it. So if someone texts me about something or I get like an appointment reminder, I will just go ahead and um, enter it into my cell phone in my notes section, which you guys can see right here, um, that I do have a few things that I need to enter into my planner and um, those, I know what those things are meaning. So those are the things that I need to plot, but you guys will see that I already do have like my kids practices and things like that in here because I already know that those are going to be taking place. So once I look over everything for the current week, um, then I go ahead and get my notepad and I list out all the things on here that I need to accomplish for this week. So if there's something like scheduling an appointment for a kid or going shopping specifically for something, something that's very specific. I do not put in like daily to do's like start a load of laundry, run the dishwasher or anything like that because that is all like just normal stuff for me. But I will write down anything that I need to accomplish beyond what is already here and I'll list that out. Once it's listed out, then I'll go ahead and plot it into my planner at the best times that I can accomplish it at. 
Um, so some areas of my life that I plan, which might be different for you, I wanna share with you guys the areas of life that I plan. And of course, you, you would adapt this to the areas that you need, but these are the areas that I look over um, every single week. So those areas that I was just talking about are my kids' homeschool. I definitely um, record the days that we are doing our full day of school. I also record any field trips. I record whether we did history or we did science, depending on our kind of routine and loop that we're doing there. I plan out my workouts for the week in advance down to the time that I'll be going. I plan out our meals for the week. Now, one thing to know about the meals is I will list them out like a Monday through um, Saturday type meal system, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to be making that meal on that specific day. I do change that around as the week goes, depending on what we need. I record anything I need to do for YouTube, anything I need to film, anything I need to edit, anything I need to send to brands for approval, any invoices that I need to be sent, um, I, I record all of that. I record any personal to-dos that are not normal tasks. So like if I need to make a doctor's appointment for someone, if we have a trip coming up and I need to start packing, um, really random things that I don't do every week, I will write that down. And then I also write down any errands that I need to accomplish for the week as well so those are the areas that I look at when I am planning for the week um, and I will usually list them all out in my notebook first and then I will plot them in my planner on the days that make the most sense so for example if I've got a super busy packed day I'm not gonna add in extra things on there because on another day of the week I might have more time so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna make my list and then I'm going to enter them into my planner guys so here is the list that I made of just all the different areas that I plan for things that I need to do so for school for my kids for the homeschool week I always like to record what week we're on um, we have a poetry day coming up so I need to have them choose some poems I need to write out which days we're doing history and which days we're doing science I need to look at my schedule and see if I want to do an extra day this week or maybe a half day two days because my husband's working an extra day I need to plan for our library trip um, I also went ahead and scheduled out my meals and I just need a few items from the grocery store so I wrote those down. I, for YouTube, need to film a day in the life video this week and I need to edit this video that you are currently watching. For errands, I do need to make it to Trader Joe's and I do need to go to the dentist. I got a reminder call um, for my appointment and it wasn't actually written in my planner, oops. So I need to plot that in. These are my to-dos, my individual to-dos. I need to pay bills this week. I need to schedule an orthodontist consultation for my son. I need to plan our meals out and pack for our Utah cabin weekend that is coming up. I need to order clothes for um, a cousin picture that we're gonna be doing. I need to invoice the client and I need to make snacks for our poetry time. So once I've written everything out onto this paper, then I also went through my phone's note section and I 
entered in those things that I had written down in there and deleted them. Also, if there's anything that I come across that I need to cancel or reschedule that involves other people, I will usually send a text or an update at that time. So once I got this list all written out, then I go ahead and pull over my planner, um, which you guys can see is pretty darn full. So we are in school week seven. I told you guys that. This is where I like to write all of my to-dos. I don't like to assign them to specific days because um, just as long as I get all these things done by the next week, I'm okay with it. I plotted all of my workouts and the times that they're gonna be at. I recorded what days we're doing school, science, history, um, all those different things when I'm going to the library because that is a good day for us because we don't have any sports at night. When I'm gonna make those muffins, when I'm gonna film the video, when I'm gonna go to Costco, all the different things are filled into my planner. My husband's going on a weekend trip, so I needed to write that down. So my planner is now complete. I have everything ready for the week. I know what tomorrow holds for me because tomorrow is Monday. So I've got my workout first thing in the morning that I'm gonna do history and a full day of school with my kids um, prior to going to the dentist at one o'clock. And then I have all of these things for, for that. So the last piece of planning that I do for the week, like I said, is meal planning. This is flexible, meaning I might not make that pesto chicken tonight, I actually might make the turkey burgers instead. But at least I have an idea of what I'm cooking for the week and I can move things around as needed. Also have all the things that I need so I don't have to run out to the grocery store in the middle of the week. So um, I like to meal plan those as well, but I don't write the meals in my planner. I just kind of keep this um, in my kitchen where I can see it. So that is my complete week planned. I got my meals planned. I got my grocery list made. I've got my week all scheduled out for everything that I need to accomplish and it just really starts my week off on the so right that's it you guys that's my weekly Sunday afternoon planning routine it literally takes 30 minutes it's really not super hard to do um, and it really 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 makes a huge impact on my mental my mental health my ability to multitask and do a lot of different things and it just helps my life run smooth and organized and lets me be the most productive that I can be with my days and a good steward of my time that the Lord has given me. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I plan my life out for the week. I hope this encourages you, motivates you to get organized and get get scheduled it really does help of course everyone is going to do it customized to them but this is the way that i do it so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you would like to see more planning videos let me know down in the comments let me know if we plan similarly let me know anything you want to tell me that's nice of course down in the comments and i will see you guys in my next video really soon bye guys